Hi everyone, this is Alex, the technology specialist at the Martin Library branch of York County Libraries, and welcome back to Tech Time Thursdays. Today we are going to be talking about creating a PayPal account and kind of just the ins and outs of what a PayPal account is, how it can benefit you, when you might like to use one, and so on and so forth. So just as a general rundown, a PayPal account is a, essentially an account which is connected to your bank and prevents other websites from being directly connected to your bank. So, for example, if you've ever been trepidatious about purchasing something online or giving a website your card information, PayPal is a pretty good resource for you. Uh, so the purpose of the PayPal account is that you give your information to PayPal. You give, you hook up your card to your PayPal account. However, then when you go online to other sites, if you want to shop online, you won't have to give them your information again. Now, some sites don't use PayPal. However, a vast majority, majority of them these days do. So using PayPal instead of giving all these websites your bank accounts uh, does give you some protection. It also prevents other sites from... PayPal has kind of an assurance policy with it. If for whatever reason your product doesn't come from a seller, PayPal is able to sort of refund you that. Uh, so they're a good site if you're worried about any of that happening. So currently we're on Google. I'm just going to navigate toward PayPal. Um, for Google, we can literally just type in PayPal. And it will take us, we're looking for paypal.com. Now when we get here, it's going to immediately offer us a uh, sign up for free. So we can sign up here. We can also sign up up in the corner if this isn't here. Uh, it says log in in the corner and then sign up. So let's sign up for free. And the first thing it's going to ask us is whether or not this is a personal account or a business account. So if you were coming here for business, um, this is also a good site for you. However, let's set up a personal account because I feel like that's probably what the majority of people would use. Okay, and now it's going to give us an advertisement, essentially offering the PayPal app. Now, the PayPal app is, is perfectly good, um, very helpful if you do a lot of shopping on your phone. So if you would like to download your pay, a PayPal app, you can just continue to the App Store or Google Play. Of course, that is if you are doing this on your smart device. If you're doing this on a desktop, it kind of will bug out on you. So let's continue to the website because I'm on a desktop. And it's gonna ask us for your phone number. So the phone number one is for password confirmation. So it's gonna confirm who you are. Remember PayPal has your bank account information. So it wants to know that you are who you say you are. And you too want PayPal to know that you are who you say you are and that someone else isn't who you say you are. So let's just put in our number and I'll hit, meet you back when you hit next. Okie dokie, so we are back. We have got the security code from our texts and it has brought us to this page. So just as a recap, if you're a little bit lost on the first or the previous step, um, you should have received a text with a code on your phone. So mine just came out looking like this and PayPal gave me a secret code and I put it in and now we're good. Once you've got past that step, it's going to ask you for some more information. So you're gonna put in your email, 
your legal first and last name, and you're going to create a password for your account. And then we are going to hit next. So just make sure, one, that you write down what email you've used and also what password you've used for your PayPal account. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we filled in that information and now we are here. If you're stuck on the previous step, it might be because you are typing in a password that doesn't follow their regulations. So just make sure that your password has a capital letter, some numbers and a special character and you should be good. When you get to here, it's going to ask you for your address. Uh, so this is important mainly because it's your billing address. Just like your card uh, needs a billing address, PayPal needs your billing address as well. They're never going to send you a bill. It's just that when you use your card and you put your card into the internet, the bank wants the security to know that it is really you who has used the card. And a part of that is your billing address. So for the internet, when you, do, when you purchase something, uh, your billing address needs to match the one on your card or your card will be rejected. So this is important and this is necessary and they're not going to send you weird letters, I promise. So let's put in this information and then we can agree and create our account and we should be raring to go. Okay, I promise this process is going to stop soon. It is, it is, this is, this is it. This is the last thing. And it is going to essentially ask you if you want to start purchasing things or start sending mothers, uh, money to others. So this was something that I neglected to talk about when I was talking about PayPal, so forgive me. Um, but one of the cool things about PayPal is that you can personally send money to other people and you can do it in a safe way. So this is great for really small businesses, but it's also great for you as a person just like sending money to your sister, Often I send money to my brother after we go out to eat food so that we split the bill, but we only use one card so we don't have to, you know, make a whole extra scene at the restaurant. I can just send him the money later via PayPal and it's a completely safe thing to do and he gets it immediately. Uh, so you can choose either of those two things if you would like. I'm going to go for not sure, add card to use later, just to show y'all how the adding the card process works and to get y'all familiar with that before you kind of plunge into the PayPal world. Okay, so here it is, the part where we link our cards. So you're going to link your debit card, put in all of the information that you're used to having in there, and then you should be able to link your card and be good to go. Now you can link a bank instead. This would essentially be a more intense way of linking your card. So you would probably need like your routing number, just like if you were doing a direct deposit at work. Um, but that is another option. So you can always just scroll to the bottom of the page and link a card instead. So whichever you choose, come back over here and I'll give you a tour of PayPal. Okay, so welcome to your new PayPal account. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. This area is usually just kind of a little bit of advertisements. Over here, you'll see your recent activity. So since this is a new account, there won't be any activity. Um, but when you start purchasing things, it will give like a list of the places that you have purchased things at and how much money you've given. And it'll show your banks and cards here and whatnot. So up here, these buttons are pretty important. We've got the send button. Uh, sending is... Okay, so when you want to send money, uh, you'll either need the person's name, email, or mobile number. Uh, it'll depend it on which email or 
phone number is linked to their account. So make sure that you send it to the correct person. I would definitely recommend using an email or a phone number uh, before you just type in someone's name. There are a lot of people with the same name in this world. Don't send money arbitrarily to someone who you weren't supposed to send money to. So if we go back... We'll see uh, request money. So you can request money from people if, for example, you're having like a... You're going out to the movies and you bought... You bought all the tickets for your friend group and you want to request the money uh, that they owe you. You can do the same thing, put in their email or phone number, and then request a certain amount of money from them. And so that's pretty much how it works on the PayPal app itself. Once again, recent activity will show you kind of what you're doing and what's been happening. If we click on this link, it'll give us a better understanding, a more thorough understanding of what we have purchased in the past. So just like looking through bank statements, this is a good way to check that everything is okay and your money is being spent by you. So next up, I'm just going to show you how to use your PayPal account just in a normal checkout setting. And then that'll be it. Okay, final push. If you've been with me this far, I thank you for continuing. This is how you check out with PayPal online. So I am at barnesandnoble.com because I work at a library and my brother for Christmas really wants the book, The Stationery Shop. So I'm just going to look that up for him. And there it is. So let's click on it and decide whether or not we want to purchase him a paperback or a hardcover. I think I I think he prefers paperback. So let's do some paperback and add that to our cart. Okay. And let's view the shopping cart because that's all I'm going to buy today. Okay. So we're in the checkout. And as you can see, we can check out with card, Visa card, Chase, whatever. But there's also this option for PayPal checkout. And now we have access to PayPal checkout, right? So if we click on PayPal checkout, it's going to take us to this pop-up, which is PayPal. And PayPal is going to ask us to log in. Now, I am already logged in, actually, because I'm logged in right now. So... It is going to ask us how we would like to pay. And this is all through PayPal. So Barnes & Noble isn't getting our card information right now. We are going through PayPal and PayPal, I neglected to add my card. Um, so it would ask you to add your card here if you haven't previous. And then you would check out fully through PayPal. So what that means is you, it's essentially a quick checkout. PayPal already has your address. It already has your phone number and information. Once you pull that information from PayPal, PayPal will give it to Barnes & Noble and will safely provide sort of an alternative to giving your card to 700 different websites. So all you would do is click go and then you would just have to finish up with Barnes & Noble. Usually it just means, you know, confirming and choosing your shipment option. And then you would be able to purchase what you wanted to purchase. I hope that that's pretty clear. Thank you all so much for watching this PayPal tutorial. Once again, I am Alex. I am the technology specialist from Martin Library, a branch of your county libraries, and I hope you have a good day.